Hi everyone, and thanks for joining me for today's uh, webinar, where we're going to be covering off the Neato Analytics Studio. Okay, so let's get uh, started. My name is Ryan. I'm the CEO and founder of Neato, and I'm going to be the host uh, for today's webinar. So today is going to be a fairly informal webinar, but it's an exciting webinar because it's one where we're launching a new product of ours, the Neato Analytics Studio. Before I get started, though, a bit of housekeeping. You're welcome to ask any questions as we go. There's a question console in front of you. We do have staff on hand to answer those questions. If we don't get to all the questions during the webinar, we will um, respond to the questions after the webinar by email. We'll also be creating an FAQ uh, based on the questions from today, and we'll be posting those on the Nido Support Hub and emailing them to all attendees. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, an agenda for today. So first we'll cover off what exactly is Nido Analytics Studio and why uh, you as a Nido merchant will love it. We're then gonna jump straight into a live demonstration where we're gonna look at how Nido Analytics can be used to measure your marketing performance, your product performance, um, and how your customers are behaving. Um, we'll also then finally end with how you yourself can get started with the Neato Analytics uh, platform. Okay, so Neato Analytics Studio is our new reporting and insights tool, and it's powered by a really powerful analytics platform called Glue. And we baked Neato Analytics directly into the Neato platform and integrated it natively. And with um, Neato Analytics, Studio, we'll be pulling all uh, your data from your various uh, sources, including your marketing campaigns on Google, Bing, Facebook, um, and together that will deliver business intelligence, analytics, reporting, and automation to uncover your store's most profitable products, customer segments, and channels, helping you make data-driven decisions that generate more revenue and ultimately drive profitability. And you'll be able to integrate these channels during the setup uh, process of your Neato Analytics Studio account, which we'll look at a little bit uh, later. Some of the things that you already love about Neato Analytics Studio are that it provides a central dashboard for all your retail data. It will save you hours by automating reporting. It will help you better understand your customers' purchasing behavior so that you can personalize your direct marketing efforts. And it will help you better understand your best performing paid marketing campaign so that you can better optimize your marketing spend. And I know as a business owner myself um, that that's a, a really big uh, value add, ultimately being able to shift your paid marketing spend to campaigns that are outperforming others. Okay, so let's, um, without further ado, jump into a live uh, demonstration. So first of all, you will be able to access Analytics Studio from the left-hand menu in your Neato control panel. And once you log into Analytics Studio for the first time after having installed it, you'll have to go through a quick setup process. And like I said, that's going to involve linking Analytics Studio to your various marketing um, channels. Uh, the data will then start to sync with your Neato store. And the, the initial sync can take some time, but um, you will be notified at the end of the sync via email. And from that point forward, the Analytics Studio and your Neato control panel uh, will continue to integrate uh, with each other and up update periodically. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, the Highlights tab. So the Highlights tab, the top left there, gives you a quick overview of your store with trending graphs for metrics including revenue, gross profit, orders, products sold, average order value, refunds, site visits, visits and um, ultimately, conversion rates. And at the top of the page, there's a, dick, uh, a date picker that allows you to filter uh, your highlights uh, by time. And within each metric, there's a filter where you can filter by sales channel, device, um, source, marketing campaign, etc. Metrics from this highlights uh, tab or page can also be added to a new um, or an existing report. And we'll look at uh, creating custom reports a little bit later. Next, we'll move on to the performance tab on the left. And the performance uh, tab combines data from your Nido store and major advertising channels through your Google Analytics connection to provide insights into the effectiveness of all of your marketing campa campaigns. So it ties key metrics, including revenue, uh, net profit, ad spend, 
and cost of goods sold to each of your channels and provides an understanding of the cost to acquire customers saving you from spending huge amounts acquiring customers and channels that produce very low profits or, or very low lifetime value. Um, from here, you can also drill into a channel to get full detail on how that channel is performing for your business. So for example, you can drill into the Facebook channel um, and then you can see uh, by source and campaign how that uh, channel is ultimately performing uh, for your business. Okay, so moving on to the customer tab. Uh, so from within the customer list section, first of all, you can drill into individual customers to access the customer's transaction history, uh, their status, um, and any product suggestions uh, relating to that uh, specific customer. So a really good overview of how any particular customer is performing. So this is, I guess, bringing a level of CRM functionality to Nito that we never uh, had um, before. And especially if you're running a wholesale business, you know, this level of insight can be very valuable when building a customer relationship. Um, so like I said, from here, you can measure things such as lifetime um, value to better understand how to market to your customers and, and monetize a particular customer. In addition, you can also export specific segments so that you can tailor um, your marketing efforts to uh, specific customers. So Nido, Nido Analytics comes with 25 predefined customer order um, and time-based segments that help you to better understand how your customers are, are performing from day to day. For example, you can quickly pull up a list of your most profitable uh, customers or your uh, biggest spenders uh, by gross revenue. And then you can even take this a step further by creating your own custom segments using what we call advanced filters. And you can filter your customers by things like customer information. So maybe the location of where a customer uh, is living, the email address or, or name, um, how they're engaging with your business, so their average order value, their status, uh, when they place their first order, the number of refunds or the value of discounts that you've issued to them, or maybe just the total revenue they've spent with you in a particular period. And then also how they're um, engaging with you on your website and how they found your business. So what campaign they came through, what channel they came through, uh, what device uh, they were using, mobile or, or desktop, for example. And then you can build um, custom campaigns for these specific customer segments by downloading the segment and then uploading it into popular email marketing tools like Smarter Mail. Um, or if you're using MailChimp, there's actually a direct integration with MailChimp that'll push this information directly to your MailChimp lists for automating uh, your email marketing. Um, also still under the, the customer section there, we've got the future value section. Um, and this section of the platform is where you can really learn about your customers' purchasing uh, behavior. Um, and more importantly, probably you know, th their status. So you can quickly from here identify at-risk customers um, or customers that the, the platform deem to be lost. And then you can create a targeted campaign to try and win those customers uh, back. And this is all based around an algorithm which calculates uh, your lapse uh, point. Um, and any of these metrics, lapse points, for example, um, on the Nido documentation website support hub, there's an explanation of, of what these uh, metrics actually mean, but you can also roll over the eye icon um, associated with any metric and it'll give you a little bit more information to how uh, the platform has calculated that particular metric in case you're uh, not sure. Okay, so moving on um, to product and inventory analysis. So similar to customer-based segments, which we looked at before, um, Nido Analytics Studio also has product-based segments. Um, so for example, uh, you can run a segment on your most profitable products or, or your, your most popular bundles. Um, it also allows you to drill into product pages that provide individual insights showing you what's happening and, and what's hurting your bottom line in relation to a, a, a particular product. And there's 20 out-of-the-box segments built in. Um, you can access granular information needed to optimize your store sales strategy, such as customer lifetime value, inventory velocity, and uh, depletion uh, days through here. And similar to customer segments, uh, you can also create your own custom product segments. Um, from within the inventory section, um, you can measure important metrics associated uh, to your products, including inventory uh, velocity, uh, sell-through rate, 
average cost price, holding cost, uh, retail value, and out of stock uh, dates. And Nido Analytics you know, imports your cost of goods sold data from your Nido store and uses that inf information across the application. And really, without integrated cost of goods sales data, you are making decisions with very little understanding of an appropriate level of marketing spend relative to that product's actual pro profitability. So this is a really important part of the platform. Um, and so now I guess with, with Analytics Studio, you can really monitor gross margin and other KPIs that rely on, on cost of sales data. You can easily determine if you're spending too much money marketing low gross margin items and, and you can quickly act on opportunities to better allocate more ad spend to high margin products, which ultimately you know, gives you a really clear picture on how to improve performance and increase uh, your profitability. Finally, you know, one of the features um, that, I, that I really enjoy about this particular platform, and I think one that many of our store owners will love, and I know this because when we visit customers on our Nito site, Visits, um, customers often mention that they would like to, you know, before they start the day, receive a snapshot of how they performed in the day prior so that they can better set themselves up uh, for the day ahead. Um, and this is delivered with Nido Analytics Studio with something that we call the daily snapshot email. This is a really convenient window into your store's performance delivered every morning via email. And the snapshot covers everything uh, to do with the performance of your store in the last uh, 24 hours. But in addition to the daily snapshot email that gets automatically uh, sent to you, Nido Analytics Studio also offers the ability to build uh, your own custom uh, reports using the report builder. These reports can be tailored to focus on specific metrics like maybe your most profitable products and then they can be scheduled to be sent to you or other people in your business so they have the data they need when they need it uh, to make uh, decisions. And the best part is that every one of the graphs, the charts, the tables that you've seen uh, in this quick demonstration and throughout this application are available to be added to these custom reports. And then these reports are available both on screen, but also in, in PDF format. So you could create, for example, a report uh, for your board that gets sent um, the day of the board meeting to all the board members that provides a snapshot or an overview of your store's performance over the past quarter. So I really, I really like this uh, feature and function because it's obviously up to now, you know, we haven't had that level of um, reporting capability in the Nito platform uh, itself. Okay, so there's a lot that we could drill into here um, and we could spend many, many hours uh, doing it. But the good news um, is that Nido Analytics Studio is available uh, to demo uh, yourselves or available to use uh, right now from within your Nito control panel. Um, so Nido Analytics Studio, it's a powerful platform, enterprise level retail analytics, um, and therefore it's is only available on our Nido 360 plan. So um, you through your Nido control panel, like I said, you can access um, Nido Analytics Studio. When you go to access Analytics Studio, there'll be the option if you're not on Nido 360, which is um, our all-inclusive plan to upgrade to Nito 360. And not only will you get access instantly to Nito Analytics Studio, but you'll also uh, get a number of inclusions with the Nito 360 plan. So the idea of Nito 360 is an all-inclusive plan. So you get Nito Ship, you get Nito Pick and Pack, you get access to uh, all of our sales channels, um, inventory, and more um, for one fixed uh, monthly uh, fee, but I think the value that you get out of Nido Analytics really does uh, now pay for itself, thanks to this partnership uh, that we've been able to build um, with Glue, uh, you know, an enterprise-level retail analytics uh, platform. Um, so yeah, that's all we were going to really go through in today's um, webinar, a quick um, launch webinar for Nido Analytics Studio. I hope that sort of give you a quick overview of what it's capable of, um, how to install it. Um, but like I said, it is available to demo through your control panel and it's available to use if you are on uh, the Nito 360 plan, which you can upgrade to uh, in real time. So there's been a bunch of questions coming through. Um, I can see our team are rapidly typing away in response to those. And like I said, any questions that we don't answer now before the webinar ends, uh, we will answer and send by email 
um, and we will also be posting an FAQ on the NIDO Support Hub. There is a number of uh, documents also already available on Support Hub that are related to Analytics Studio. So if you do have any questions, please refer to the Support Hub documentation um, first. Otherwise, obviously, feel free to give our team a call or shoot uh, through an email. Um, but yeah, thanks very much everyone for joining me for today's quick launch webinar for NIDO Analytics Studio. Um, we're obviously hoping that this product will continue to improve over the, the coming months and years. Um, and we're really happy to be able to deliver this to our customers because based on our prioritization survey that we sent out to all of you last year, better dashboards and better reporting were right up um, at the top of that list. So it's great that we've been able to deliver that to you um, early on in this year. So again, thank you all for joining me and have a, a great day.